Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter, and uh, today's video I'd just like to go over uh, my current computer setup here. This is more of a temporary setup since uh, some of you had heard that I had a lightning strike at my house and it killed my Biostar motherboard, my Logitech X540 speakers, and my Palette GTX 460 Sonic video card. So I am currently waiting for uh, the insurance company to do what they do and see what I can get out of that. And uh, basically going to do a full upgrade to hopefully the bulldozer platform here in a month or two when it's all released. And uh, I guess just show you guys what I got here. I got the Westinghouse 22 inch 1680 by 1050 monitor. That's the same. Um, and since my speakers uh, were killed, basically I'm using some uh, temporary speakers here. It's uh, Altec Lansing 2.1 speakers, nothing fancy. I got them for about 25 bucks at Walmart. And uh, over here to the right is my temporary computer setup. Uh, and you're, if you're wondering why I'm not using the Cooler Master Stacker, because basically I hate that case. It's just big. It doesn't have good cooling at all. The cable management's terrible on it. So I'm uh, not using that. And uh, my Corsair 750TX power supply is good as far as I can tell. Haven't hooked it up to another rig yet, but I have tested it. Um, running it off, uh, just jumping the power supply and running a few things off of it, and it seemed to work fine. But actually, I'm going to test it on this computer, and hopefully, uh, doesn't uh, hurt any hardware. Surprisingly enough, my hard drive survived. I was kind of thinking those would be the number one thing that was going to go, but they actually made it. So now, I guess what I'll do is I'll give you guys a close-up here of set up and give you guys a close-up of the computer here and show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do and what everything looks like and what I'm running now okay now I guess I'll give you guys a close-up here and show you what exactly I'm gonna do currently I'm running a E4500 same as the chip I was running before. Got my two gigs of Corsair XMS2 memory in there. I'm running a Zotac N73 value uh, 610i NVIDIA chipset motherboard. Just using the integrated video for the moment. And if you're wondering why I have the huge fan sitting there, it's because the uh, chipset on this motherboard gets extremely hot. And as you guys know, I don't like things running too hot, even if they're not overclocked. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cage here, I'm going to put the hard drives in there, and I'm going to move it to the five and a quarter inch bays. I'm going to remove the two IDE drives up there that I just had uh, that I was testing out. And I'm just going to have a single SATA CD drive, which is all I need. And I'm going to change out some of the fans here. Some fans I just got for a really good deal off a uh, overclock.net member. And I'm going to replace the two 80 millimeter fans in the back with a single 120. I'm going to replace this 140 millimeter fan up here with one of the 120s. And I'm going to replace this factory fan controller here because I got a feeling that's what's causing these fans to act strange. Because not only does the front fan, but the two rear 80 millimeter fans that are hooked up to it don't seem to want to run at the uh, correct RPM that the fan controller is setting them to. So I'm going to swap that out for my other 3-pin uh, fan controller, which is the reason why I'm switching out this front fan for a 3-pin fan. And I'm going to take out the big fan there, because it's not going to be needed. I'm actually getting a HR05 uh, SLI chipset cooler that I'm going to put on here. Another thing I got for a really good deal, I'm actually waiting for that, should be here in a day or two. And basically what that will do is, uh, I also have the, because my Palo GTX 460 is fried, so I'm going to probably put the 8800 GTS back in here, more than likely. But honestly, I don't really do anything that requires a video card at the moment. I'm not folding uh, because of power bills, basically, just too high. And uh, this power supply that's in here seems to run perfectly fine. So I'll probably just end up going with that because the Corsair 750TX is a pain to do cable management on. And other than that, um, probably going to move the Sigma Tech fan uh, somewhere else. I'm not sure where. 
and I'm going to do some cable management because I pretty much just threw everything in here and if you're wondering why um, like I stated earlier I hate the cooler master stacker case so I'm just using this uh, AeroCool Extreme Engine 3T case for the moment so that's about it guys um, I'll make another video here once I get this all completed so you guys can check it out oh and I'm gonna hook up this uh, NZXT set of power cable here not only because it looks nice but when I have it hooked up in here I'll just be able to run the single lead back so I won't have all the extra cables coming through so it'll look nicer and it'll fit better with cable management so that about wraps it up guys I guess give you another overview here it's my typical uh, low-end keyboard and mouse since I don't play games or anything here's my Antec Lansing speakers here you got my little sub back there. I think this is only like a 5 watt system or something like that. Nothing special. And I'm using a uh, wireless card that I got from a YouTube member. So thanks to him. Along with this uh, NZXT single sleeve uh, SATA power cable. I got that from I believe Cosmonite74 sent this to me I believe. If that's wrong I apologize. Feel free to uh, leave a comment and let me know uh, if it was somebody else by chance. So that's about it, guys. Uh, more videos to come. I'll give you guys an update on the uh, completion of this once I get it done. So that about wraps it up. Uh, you have a great day.